Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I am going to explain you about the capability maturity model, which is in short also called as CMM. Okay, so in this uh, model, we are going to see what capability maturity model is and what are the different levels of maturity we have. Okay, so basically, this uh, CMM is a benchmark for measuring the maturity of an organization. So, it is a benchmark, it is a standard by which you will measure the um, maturity of the organization that is uh, the organization is at which stage it how much more improvement is to be needed like that at which stage of maturity the organization is whether it is at a beginning stage or it is an intermediate stage or it is a very well-defined organization so that you will be coming to know in this uh, topic okay and this is a software process so this is also one of the contemporary uh, method right contemporary management approach so almost of all the co contemporary management approaches are a software process right so um, this is a software process and in the CMM we actually have five levels of maturity okay as I said uh, this is a standard for measuring the maturity of an organization so this maturity is measured in five levels okay level 1 to level 5 or level 0 to level 4 you can take anything okay so first is in initial repeatable defined managed and optimized okay we actually have five levels initial repeatable defined managed and optimized okay done so uh, in this video we will see about each and every level in detail right now so now uh, see what what's uh, let's see what is the first level that is initial so as the name itself says it is a beginning so level one is initial okay here uh, process are processes are very basic they are poorly controlled and reactive that is the control between the process the control in the organization everything is not a very standard okay it is in the very beginning basic level okay when we start something uh, it is not perfect right it uh, starting itself it doesn't become perfect or uh, after some days on continuous practice and so on it becomes perfect so level one is initial where the processes are basic they are poorly controlled and they are reactive to the situations okay so that is when situations change they will change okay then so that is about the initial here the processes are immature and they are not well defined okay immature in the sense they are not fully developed they are not fully grown like that you can say and not even well defined okay done so this is about the level one and that is initial now let us see what level two is level two is repeatable okay in repeatable what we hear what is done is uh, it mainly focuses on establishing basic project management policies right so some uh, basic pro pro project management uh, policies will be implemented here and uh, what happens here is previous experience will be taken into consideration so the past experiences the past history so uh, previous projects and experience from previous previous projects will be taken and that will be used to develop that um, concepts or that methodologies will be used to develop the uh, present projects right so that means what are the mistakes done at that point of time and avoiding those mistakes and what are the methodologies that gave good success at that time uh, previously so they, like that they will be analyzing and they will be using previous experiences in the current methodologies current uh, process projects okay so here what is the um, here project planning will be done the configuration management of the project will be done that is configuration in the sense you know what is required uh, what configuration is required like that what capabilities are required like that and um, software quality assurance also will be done here okay so this is about the level 2 which is repeatable okay in repeatable basic project mo management policies will be done so implementation of basic project management policies will be done in repeatable phase okay now let's move on to the level 3 moving on to the level 3 it's defined okay the level 3 is defined and here documentations are done whatever the documentations are related to the project are done maybe soft copy hard copy reviews whatever it is everything documentation related thing is done in this define okay so documentations are done so peer reviews will be done and intergroup communications will be done intergroup communications in the sense one group or one department will be communicating with other department and then they will be writing the reviews they will be writing the uh, feedback and all and training programs will be done so by this documentation will be taken okay so um, in level 3 all the documentation related works will be done and reviews 
inter group communications training programs will be happening done so after level 3 what do we have uh, we will be moving on to the level 4 right level 4 is managed so here the quantitative and qualitative goals are set in the organization and they will be managed quantitative in the sense quantity wise these many units of output has to be product produced these many units of uh, so and so uh, raw material uh, sorry finished good has to be produced like that quantitative and qualitative what is the quality how good the quality is so the quantitative and qualitative goals are set and they are managed they are achieved in this level okay so here what is done software quality man management will be done in order to um, do the qual uh, qualitative goals and for quantitative goals we have quantitative management okay so this is about the level 4 that is managed so what kind of organizations will come under level 4 is um, not exactly uh, com uh, all MNCs will not come into this some MNCs some basic MNCs like that and, uh, and in level 5 all the MNCs will come into level 5 and level, let's see what level 5 is so in level 5 it is optimized as the word itself says it makes our business more profitable more um, reachable to your customers and all so here what happens is continuous improvement is done how by taking the feedback from the customers or from the employees or from taking the feedback from the stakeholders like that so continuous improvement of the project is done by taking the feedback and here defect prevention is done that is if there are any defects if there are any errors if there is any problem those uh, problems or those errors can be prevented by using this uh, optimized phase okay so all most of all the MNCs will be coming under this level so simply to sum up uh, some basic organizations like small scale industries or uh, you know cottage industries those kind of thing will come under level one okay and level 5 all MNCs will come so it the stage keeps on improving so some companies will be at level 2 some companies will be at level 3 uh, some companies will be at level 4 so the companies which are at level 3 what they do they do documentation uh, apart from the companies which are at level 2 so for each and every level the maturity keeps on increasing and for each and every level one uh, feature will be like a add-on and that feature is for level 1 it is initial so initial there is nothing uh, just um, poor management and all will be there and level 2 is repeatable and in level 3 uh, we do the documentation part in level 4 we do the manage managing of quantitative and qualitative in level 5 whatever the management task is being done we optimize it um, in, so that we get it in more best way so like that the process continues okay so this is about the uh, capability maturity model so this concept is not only in management science you have it uh, even in software engineering as well okay so that's all for this video uh, we are done with this video let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic if you're having any video recommendations or uh, any topic recommendations for me just let me know that in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure and uh, thanks for watching the video if you're still having any doubts just let me know that in the comment section and if you're having your exam schedule nearby just let me know the date of exam in the comment section uh, so that i can hurry up making videos for you right so let's meet up soon in the next coming video